talking mining. We're in Thunder Bay. We're at the Valhalla with Minister of Mining for Ontario. Thank you for taking the time today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. In your remarks today, you spoke about China yes. and gold and China's determination to become the major world power yeah. on this. What can Ontario be doing to help protect the West? Well, you know, that's, that's a very good and important question. Um, at the federal government, they've already um, uh, determined that the Chinese will not be allowed to invest in certain projects. They made that announcement about a year ago. Uh, the, it's well known that the Chinese want to have, want to be, they want to be the number one world's currency. That's one of the reasons why, as I said in, in remarks, they, uh, they're the largest producers of gold and they're also the producers, the largest the buyers of gold. And they want, uh, of course, if they're going to have the world's currency, they have to have a solid um, commodity to back that currency. It's one of the reasons why gold is changing, creating it about approximately 3,000 tons, uh, three to three thousand dollars an ounce right now. I think that what we have to be aware of, of course, is that in fact the world's a different place. We have to be aware of the fact there is there is a obviously a risk and uh, associated with cyber security. Uh, and that's been driven by uh, the Chinese. So, uh, quite frankly, as, as, uh, and not to be glib about it, but you know, be aware of what the, what, what the world is all about right now. Be aware of it. Shifting gears a little bit back into Northern Ontario. Red Lake is excited over gold. Yes. And we are still waiting on some substantial work in the Ring of Fire. What do our readers and viewers need to know? Well, Red Lake is also excited. They're excited about gold, but they're also excited about uh, lithium. Frontier mm -hmm. Lithium is to the north and slightly west of Red Lake. Uh, there'll be a bridge that will be that we built across the Burns River, um, and that will lead to the roads to to uh, to Frontier Lithium. And that road will, I hope, largely be that will be extended to a road that um, that uh, we drove the road. Um, from to, to build the muscle white the muscle white mine uh, the ring of fire you just you would have heard last week in an announcement uh, at Kakabaka Falls um, and the nine communities of the Mattawa uh, Tribal Council um, and I don't know if this is a first but it's certainly significant that they agreed that uh, and supported the fact that uh, you know, hydroelectric power would be delivered to the five nations, the five communities that are still being powered by diesel. The, uh, that's a significant announcement. We continue to, to uh, uh, spend money and develop a uh, billion dollars that's been announced uh, a couple of years ago by the province uh, to, provide, um, to, to provide the broadband and other services. Yeah, paid a uh, PDAC. You heard the the uh, exciting announcement that we in relation to Martin Falls and Webbegay, uh, so that they're getting that so they'll be prepared and shovel ready for the uh, the road projects uh, when they're when they're finished or when they're approved. The um, so it's a, it's a very exciting time. There's lots of uh, good drill results with the with the uh, junior explorers uh, there, and I think there's renewed enthusiasm associated with the area. Uh, it is a generational opportunity uh, and as we and the fact of life is that you know our winter roads are not reliable. Permanent roads will have to be developed so we've been focusing on one road or three roads if you want to talk to them but there'll be a there'll be lots of roads that have to be uh, have to be uh, developed. Um, so it, it this this um, the issues about the roads will just disappear because they will just have to be built, you know. Uh, and when that happens, uh, you're going to see an incredible boom in mining. Uh, without a doubt, there's incredible, you know, I mean, nine-tenths of the, pro the province is northern Ontario. One-tenth is southern Ontario. They have nine-tenths of the population. We have one-tenth. So it's largely empty and begging for uh, exploration drill holes. That's, and, and again, the, the other real positive part about this is, of course, that the Indigenous peoples uh, support development. Uh, of course, they want everything that, that we already have from a, from a recreational point of view, from a health care facility, um, and quite frankly, it's, uh, that's what development will do. Um, and and um, 
that development, I think, uh, is central to uh, the role that we play in advancing economic reconciliation. And lithium. And lithium. Can't let you off the hook without talking about lithium and Thunder Bay. Well, lithium, I mean, Frontier Lithium is, that's a world-class asset. Um, Thunder Bay is so well endowed with, in this region, with lithium. Uh, they have found lithium brine uh, in the north shore of Lake Superior, like in an old ocean. They're, 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 uh, when I was first, when I first heard of this, I thought, oh, that's impossible. But it, it's there. And, um, I mean, I don't, every single region in, in the area around um, Thunder Bay is well endowed. I mean, you've seen the, the, the samples, you've seen the, uh, you've seen the presentations that are, you know, out there on the walls and in the, in the booths, uh, and lithium is, is, is featured uh, highly. So it's, it's uh, and as I said, we're, we've got the future, the, f the, the, the fuel of the future right here in, uh, in this region. And uh, I can't think <coughs> um, another era that would be as exciting as what we're, what we're doing right now. Um, I mean, we're, we're mining fuel is what we're doing. Do uh, you think about what happened in the, in the U.S. in the turn of the last century where they found oil? Well, we're finding lithium. Same thing. When I talk about Thunder Bay being 200,000 people, I, I, I honestly believe that. I honestly believe that. And it's not just that we're finding these critical minerals, it's how we mine. Uh, we're committed to mining sustainably. And the definition of sustainability is, is meeting the needs of this, this generation without compromising the needs of the, of the next generation. And that means we do it. That's the definition of sustainability. Um, our projects are being designed, so the haulage vehicles will be electric. Um, I'll talk about Valley. They spent $1.5 billion to eliminate emissions from their stack in Sudbury. Uh, they're committed to both Valley and Glencore uh, developing uh, electric fleets. Canada Nick, um, their fleet will be hydrogen. And of course, we've got an abundance of natural, natural gas. When you burn natural gas to create hydrogen, you create CO2. CO2 will be sequestered in the um, serpentine rock that's, that's, that the, the, the deposit is hosted in. We've got a lot of serpentine rock there. So we're thinking totally different. We're not, as I say, we don't want the nickel from Indonesia. It's coal-fired. The, the, the money comes from uh, China, and the waste goes right into the oceans. Look, that's, that's a model that's, um, you know, from the point of view of coal fired, fired and, and going into the ocean. That's 100 years old. We're well past that. We're good miners. We know what we do. We're, we're environmentally conscious, more than conscious. We, we would never sacrifice. Ontario's got world-class environmental standards. We're very proud of that. Same as the duty to consult. The, the, that's two, two parts of the, the, uh, the act the new act that I'm very proud of. There's not a word in the new act that's, that's changed in the old in the old wording associated with duty counts, uh, duty consultant and uh, um, environmental uh, environment protection. Um, we know we, there, you know, you, you can't be committed to changing uh, our society and then say, okay, but you know, mining is going to leave a footprint that's going to be uh, not carbon neutral. That's, that's not in our model. It's not, it's not Ontario's brand. It's not Ontario's brand. Minister, thank you very much. Thank you. Do you like what you see? Hit the subscribe button. Net News Ledger will keep you up to date on business news, mining news, weather, everything you need to know across northern Ontario and beyond.